leave some of the shapes in your color in here. It's the one thing that we lose as adults. You know, we start to lose our relation to our childhood. But like the second you start getting in touch with that childlike way of thinking, I don't know, it just shaves a few years for you and, and just the way you think. Like I feel so much lighter now. Like I've, I've learned a great deal from surrendering myself to this, this process. Um, My name is Lindsay Levendahl, born and raised in Cape Town, South Africa. Been living in Saskatchewan for the past seven years. A small little place called Malford, which is basically the gateway to the Northern Lights. If you know what South Africa and our politics are and our history, it, um, it was pretty colorful. The isolation aspect of my work was kind of finding a different way to deal with struggle, poverty, all those things. It was something that wasn't heard of, it was in your face. You saw it. And so that, that formed a basis behind my work and, and also just my philosophy in life and how I choose to pursue a better kind of way of looking at things um, instead of just being highly entrenched in the negativity, which is like... <laughs> Moving to Canada was probably one of the best and the worst things that could have happened to my experience as an artist. There was no distractions, so that was what winter meant. You kind of are dealing with the fact that you have to have some serious downtime where you're going to be exposed to some of the darker crevices of your mind. It was like this big mirror just kind of appearing, and that is scary. <laughs> with any sort of transitioning period, there's so much lessons to be learned. And so, you know, I just try to be as open as possible to how much I can absorb. I'm gonna give him some green teeth. Disgusting green teeth. There's a direct correlation between me working in color and with my daughter's birth. For me, the aspect of collaboration was just a natural progression. It was just myself and my daughter killing time, sitting and drawing. But what I found was that, like, I was really interested in the way that she was making certain marks. There were certain kind of strokes, the way she held the pencil. She was achieving different kind of ways of creating, purely uninhibited. And, uh, like, I, I just couldn't understand, like, how she was doing these kind of things. And so I started paying a little bit more attention to this process. And do a nice one here, soft line, soft line. There you go. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Tallulah has changed the way that I, I view life, and um, I don't take that very lightly. I think it was a, like a life lesson as well, you know, not to just be too, too caught up and precious about every single thing. It's actually nice to just give yourself over to something that's unknown. That's what I started doing more and more. Like the more I started making things with Tallulah, things started looking interesting for me. There's not enough fathers actually taking the time out. And time is, is the thing. Like, you know, for me, that's how I've chosen to show my love is through giving of myself and I've made it a mission that like my daughter and my son will know that they were loved by the images that I make. <laughs>